Hey friends, welcome to Trinity Kids Online. My name is Holly and I am so excited because it's only 13 more sleeps until Christmas. In fact, all this excitement makes me wanna celebrate. Do you wanna celebrate with me? Great, let's go. It's a pajama party here at Trinity Kids and we've been getting ready to celebrate a very important person. Do you know who we celebrate at Christmas? That's right, Jesus. Many families have super fun traditions to celebrate Jesus' birth at Christmas. Some have big dinners, some open presents, and some spend time together telling stories. I wanna share a tradition my family does with you. We play games together to have fun, celebrate, and spend time together. This game is super fun. You'll see a Christmas scene on screen, and it's your job to spot the differences between the two pictures. Do you think you can find them all? Let's play. It's time to play Spot the Difference Christmas Edition. <laughs> you are going to be shown two festive holiday scenes. There will be five subtle differences between them. Use your keen eyesight to pick them out. You will have 60 seconds for each scene. Shout at the screen when you notice what is different. Let's see if you are sharp enough to spot the difference. Here we go, round one. Did you catch them all? It's time for round two. Get all five. Who's ready for round three?
this one, round four. job thanks for playing spot the difference merry christmas <laughs>
big trip to a town called Bethlehem. There was just one problem. They needed a place to stay. They looked everywhere, but couldn't find anything. I wonder what they did next. I bet Ollie has the rest of the story for us over at the clubhouse. Poppy is there getting ready for their own PJ party, and Justin the mailman is going to stop by to tell us the true story of Jesus' birth. I'll see you back here soon. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have. I'm so glad you're here. Do you see my new Christmas pajamas? Look at all these fun animals. My pajamas are for our clubhouse Christmas pajama party. And I'm in charge of getting all the supplies. Now, what do we need for a Christmas pajama party? Yes, lots of Christmas pajamas. And party horns. And we'll want some music so we can sing and dance. This is going to be such a great party! Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Poppy! Who? Who? I can see that you're making a list. Is there a party that I have missed? Not yet, Ollie. We're getting ready for a Christmas pajama party. I'm in charge of getting all the party supplies. Christmas is a special day. It's true. And I have a story about why just for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. La, 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 la. <laughs> Hi, friends! It's almost Christmas! Are you getting excited? Me too! And look at this! I have so many Christmas cards to deliver today, but none of these are more important than... This! It's our story mail! Are you ready for the true story of Christmas? Great! Here we go! Okay, so the true story of Christmas began when an angel told Mary she was going to have a special baby named Jesus. And that baby was going to be super special because, drum roll please, Jesus was God's son. That's right, God loves us so much that he gave us his son, Jesus. Today's story is about when Jesus was born. Look, it's Mary and Joseph. What is Mary riding on? Do you know what that animal is? A donkey, you're right. What does a donkey say? Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. <laughs> Great job. Mary and Joseph needed an animal, like a donkey, to get to the town of Bethlehem. When they got to Bethlehem, they needed to find a place to stay. So Joseph knocked on a door to see if they had a room. Everybody knock with me. Ready? Knock, knock, knock. The man said there was no room for them, but they could stay in the stable out back. So Mary and Joseph went to sleep in a stable where all the animals stayed. Listen, what animals do you hear? A horse, that's right. What's this one? A chicken, that's right. What's this one? A sheep, that's right. What about this one? It's a baby. 
Jesus was born. Everyone say, happy birthday, Jesus. Happy birthday, Jesus. Mary wrapped baby Jesus up and put him in a manger. Wow, the most special baby in all the world had been born. Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. That is why we celebrate Christmas. Jesus was born and Jesus is God's son. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is special. He was born for me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus was born near animals like cows and sheep. Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I know one more thing we need to add to the list. A birthday cake, because Christmas is Jesus' birthday. Oh, and a candle. See you guys next time. Bye! Wow, Mary had her baby in a stable next to sheep and chickens and horses and donkeys and sloths. Oh, okay, maybe not sloths. Still, that's a very special birth for a very special baby. Jesus is special because he's God's son. And it's just like Ollie said, Jesus was born for you and me. Jesus is a gift given to us by God who loves us very much. Let's celebrate his birth by saying, happy birthday, Jesus. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, happy birthday, Jesus. <laughs> now that Jesus was born, there were many people who wanted to celebrate him too. Come back next week and we'll learn more about who God sent to celebrate Jesus's birth. Bye. <laughs>